Hey, you guys. <laughs> How's things? How have you been? <laughs> I just wanted to do kind of a little hello video just to say hello. Uh, not really doing any crafting. So if you're looking for crafting, I'm not doing anything like that today. Um, I am planning to do a show and sell video. I was supposed to do it by yesterday, but I didn't get it done. And I'll tell you what, a lot of the reason, well, part of the reason that I didn't get it done yesterday is because I had this like breakout of um, like hives on my arms and it's just been really weird. It, you know, I don't know if you've ever had hives, but they just like appear just a little bit and then go away and then they come back and go away. And I don't know, it's, Kind of weird and so anytime i thought i could do this video i'd look at my arms i have these hives all over my arms so anyways some kind of allergy um but i wanted to show you guys some stuff because even though i haven't been able to really get out and um you know dig and um, root around in thrift stores and estate sales and stuff like that and i haven't really been getting books um, I got some about a month and a half ago. Um, <clears throat> I haven't really been doing that. So um, there's people in my life that are high risk. And so I've just been really, really isolating a lot and, and not going out unless I absolutely have to. Literally, I considered selling my car. <laughs> um, but I've had a few people send me some stuff uh, recently that um, really made me happy. And, um, yeah, so I wanted to just kind of share some stuff with you and just tell you what I've been up to. Also, some of you had expressed interest in seeing some of the little things that I've made uh, for my grandkids, like some crocheted stuff. So, so I was going to talk to you about some of the crocheting that I've been doing because literally I've been in my bedroom for about two weeks. And um, I got the journals all shipped out. Um, there are three Reader's Digests, I think left in my shop uh two of the smaller ones and one of the larger ones um just fyi in case you were thinking that they had sold out or whatever go check them out if you want there um and they do include shipping so but there's so there's three readers digest in there still anyway so i did a little swap with uh my good friend donna and some of you guys who are in the junk journal scene may already um subscribe to her channel i'll try to find her channel i don't i don't think i've ever seen her videos but i she does have a youtube channel so i'll try to find it and she just she does a lot of sharing of um supplies and things like that and i know that she does sell some of the stuff on ebay i believe um, anyway, but she had seen how I had some of these Tunadex cards and how I just loved them. I don't, I, I got some from another viewer at one point, oh, last year, and I just love them. They're these little cards that they were like, you know, in the 40s, early 50s, um, that were like popular songs of the day, and they would send these out to radio stations so they had like all of the information about s specific songs. So a lot of the songs are like hit songs that were on the radio. Um, and then people also collected them and they gave you the music. So you could, you know, if you played piano or whatever, you could play these songs, you know, yourself. So, but they're really cool. And um, they don't, they don't make them anymore, but uh, she actually found like a whole collection of them at a thrift store, I guess. And uh, so she, she said she got like 4,000 of them or something. And so we, uh, she approached me and asked me if I'd like to do like a trade or like a swap. And um, we had done that before with some, you know, jewelry and stuff. And um, I was like, absolutely. Um, I said, I'll take as many as you don't want to keep. And so she sent me a right around 600 of them. So I'm putting together a bundle of goodies for her. So thank you so much, Donna. Really, it's awesome. I love doing trades. So, you know, if, if you've got stuff that you know I like, uh, I'm more than happy to work out some kind of a trade with you. So, but the other thing is, 
I don't know what I don't know what I'm going to do with all these. So if you have ideas for me, um, things to some of them are double um, like like that one I just showed you. And then and then a lot of them are just like a single card, like the size of an index card. And then but then some of them are actually, you know, double. And I thought and she had a great idea to make these into like little booklets or something. So but anyway, so if you guys have ideas about what I could do with them leave it in the comments that would be great and um i'm sorry i've been so aloof lately uh i haven't I haven't been sick or anything uh, i did actually have a cold for a minute and then uh and i was okay but n nothing covidy but um and then i got a flu shot and i kind of had a little bit of a bleh reaction to that that lasted for a couple days but nothing major it was the first time I ever had a flu shot so I was really proud of myself that I got that done anyway and then my sweet friend Renee uh, from GT designs um, she sent me some snaps so I could do some more paper clips and I was like oh my god and it's so funny because I was like I saw the name and I was like who is this and the name on the you know the return address I was like who is this because I don't know I just don't remember like what her last name was and stuff anyways I figured it out um so thank you Renee that's really cool and of course I should have known it was her because there's so many of them and I don't know if all of these will work for the paper clips but I know some of them will it's the the ones that are about this size that seem to work on those that particular size paper clip that I've been using for those so I will be doing some more of the little the little paper snap paper clips and some more button ones too um, and if you have no idea what I'm talking about I did uh, I put out a video oh you know <laughs> couple months ago where I was like re-stashing my stash it's one of those first ones so where I was showing you how I did uh, embellish some paper clips with snaps and UV resin so and then I just wanted to show you guys really quickly I don't normally do like happy mail but um I because I feel like happy mail is sort of private you know but um but Louise from Forever French, um, she had seen a video that I did, oh, six weeks ago or so. And I guess I was, I don't know, like sounding like I was down or, you know, maybe I said I was or something. I don't know. But it was really sweet. She sent me some happy mail. So she sent me a bunch of these little, uh, like, happy new year cards. And I was just like, oh, my God, they're so cute. Um, just like a little bundle of them. You know, I mean, isn't that it's so sweet? It's just anyway, so she's just this little little package of them. And she had some of these in her shop, too. And I think I had favorited them. So she knew that I really liked them. So but I love that there's, you know, there's like uh, French handwriting on the back. So anyway, so thank you for that, Louise. Very, very sweet. And I love this little envelope. I mean, this is like, this is it right here. <laughs> anyway, and then um, also another friend had sent me, um, she got a book full of, uh, it was a book of cigar labels. And um, <clears throat> so she asked me if I wanted some of those. And so I was like, heck yeah, I'll take some. So I thought these were pretty cool. It's like a all different, like um, different. Uh, oh my gosh, what am I trying to say? I know somebody commented and said, "I like your videos, but sometimes you have a hard time finding your words." It's like, yeah, really. <laughs> sometimes. Um, anyway, all these different categories and stuff. So um, anyway so she shared some of those with me so those will be fun to use in some collages and whatnot so thank you for those joys um and then well i want to show you i did get an order from forever french i'd had some stuff that she was hanging on to for me hanging on to for me 
for a couple of months and um i just wasn't able to i wasn't able to get it and then i did make a little money on the reader's digest and so i did you know i was able to get that stuff from her so i have an order that i will show you guys from her but first i just let me show you um since i said i would um some of the crochet stuff because there was a number of people that said they wanted to see what I had been doing with the crocheting and I've honestly considered um doing some uh like a crochet channel or something just to just to kind of help maybe help people maybe um and I might still do it I don't know I haven't done the cooking thing yet either I just have a million things I want to do. Anyway, um, I probably just showed you guys my my code again, didn't I? Um, I wanted to do some videos maybe uh, showing, showing how to read patterns, um, crocheting patterns, because sometimes they're kind of confusing. Anyway, so but I want to show you some of the stuff that I made. Um, so this is a little, whoops, this is a little... It's a little ladybug believe it or not and she's pretty tiny isn't she cute she's got she's got see there's like buttons I already gave it to her so I can't show you the actual um, actual thing oh there's Jimmy <laughs> uh, look, just like totally chilling on my bed Anyway, you see the debate on in the background there. Anyway, see, so pretty. Anyway, um, okay, so there's that. Um, that little, that little lady. She's super cute. Um, and it's cute because you can take her hat off and her little goggles and stuff. Anyway, so I got these two books. Um, I like Amigurumi. Um, I don't know if that's how you're supposed to say it, but that's how I say it. Um, but I picked up these two books at Joanne's, um, gosh, maybe even a couple years ago. And I just thought this one was super, super cute. So I picked out one of the patterns that was like the easiest I could find. And um, so that it has all these different breeds of dog. So I picked out the easiest one that I thought I could do. And, uh, and I crocheted this little dog. <laughs> so they're cool because they're really like floppy, you know, they're, they're just, um, like a little kid. You could just see a little kid just dragging it around by his paw, you know? So this was the golden lab. And, um, anyway, but see, aren't they cool? So if you're into crocheting, uh, I love the Staffordshire Bull Terrier too. Um, if you're into crocheting, these books are really cool. And then, um, and I, and there's another one that this person has out. That's a whole bunch of other types of animals, like all different kinds of animals. But I wanted to do some of these little dolls too, because see, there are these little, so there's all these different ideas for heads for dolls. So you can make like a custom kind of doll and then, and then different bodies and then patterns for all the clothing and stuff too, which I think is really cool. So I want to try to do some of that stuff too. I love those overalls. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Um, anyway, so I did actually crochet one of the bodies and you do it all as one piece. Like this one, the head is separate from the body and then you stitch it on. But the dolls, you crochet them all in one piece. And I didn't really like how floppy the head was. And so I might modify the pattern a little bit. So I'm happier with it. And I wound up actually just throwing it away. But um, because I was so like, um, anyway, but here's one of the little dogs. And um, I, I do the, I did the eyes and the nose with yarn. Um, the, well, um, you'd always do the, the nose with yarn, but some people use little safety eyes for the eyes. Um, but I kind of like the look of the yarn. Um, on the ladybug, I, I used buttons. So that was for my older granddaughter. She's, she's I think she's nine. Um, and I told her she's got to keep it away from the baby because 
they're not safety, you know. So anyway, but the, the little ladybug came um, from this book. Um, her name is, uh, I'm not sure how to say it, but Arena, Arena Lee. Um, and she's got 15 patterns in here. See, there's the little ladybug. <clears throat> Lottie, the ladybug. And she did it in pinks and like a light pink and then like a darker pink. Um, I didn't actually have pinks. So I went with like kind of like a, um, like a blue color scheme. And then I did like red wings. Um, she used, uh, sequins on the, on the wings, but, but I just love them. It's, they're so cute. And she just has, she's pretty amazing. Like if you do amigurumi or if you're just even just into crocheting and not even, um, amigurumi, but, um, check out her, check out this book. Like if the, if this looks interesting to you at, at all, um, like look at the little flower girl and the way that she writes her patterns is super understandable and, um, very straightforward, not nearly as complicated as they look. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to make this little rabbit. Um, just really, really, really nicely done patterns. And I have read a lot of crochet patterns and I'll tell you, um, hers are like top notch. Um, she does use this DMC Natura cotton yarn. And if you decide to pick up this book, um, and try any of these patterns, I recommend getting that yarn or something extremely similar. Um, just because the gauge works out really nicely and it's really nice yarn. But um, she also has an Etsy shop which <clears throat> where she has more patterns. So this is her. She's a she's like a doctor or something, some kind of scientist, you know. Um, she grew up in Singapore. Um, but she lives in Australia and on let's see on She's a little aqua girl on Instagram. And then her Etsy shop is the little hook crochet. And that's where she has a whole ton of other patterns that I had to buy. Like, I think I bought like another dozen patterns. And then she also has another, another Etsy shop bubbles and bongo where she actually sells the, the creations, the, the finished dolls. So so I'll leave a link in the description to her Etsy shops so you can, um, so you can check them out. You know, if you're into crocheting and like, even if you've never done Amigurumi before, I recommend her patterns because they're so understandable. But I just thought while I was at it, I would just show you guys some of my other favorite, uh, crochet books. Um, I have a ton of them and, and these are the ones that I always use that I always look to. Um, so this one is really cool. It's the crochet bouquet and, um, uh, Suzanne Thompson. And this is the one, this is the first book that I bought, um, to make flowers, crocheted flowers. And I remember when I first bought it, my mom and I worked our way through this whole book and we made every single one of these together. And it was really cool. So, and then there's some ideas for different, uh, different ways to use the flowers and stuff like that. So, um, see, like, I think that's really cool. Um, so I was thinking it would make, it would be kind of fun maybe to try to incorporate some crochet into some journals. Um, <clears throat> so that one is really good. If you just want to try crocheting something besides an Afghan, you know, um, and then this author, Edie Ekman, her books are amazing. Um, the, the, the first, I saw all three of these. I love all three of them. Again, very easy to understand. Um, there's a piece of yarn in there. Very easy to understand the way that, and I can't believe she's crocheted all this stuff for this, for these books. But what's nice is that she gives you a diagram. So these are all motifs. Okay. So motifs are just like pieces you know, and then you can connect them together or whatever. Um, but she gives you a diagram because sometimes it's easier for me 
to understand this than to read it, you know? So if this is confusing, I'll look at the diagram and that always helps. So, um, and then there's always, uh, of course, there's a key how to understand the diagrams and that kind of stuff. But, um, but anyway, she just does really, really beautiful books, really easy to understand and well written, you know, um, and just all of these patterns are so cool. Like they're so creative. Um, I've done little like, um, has anybody ever made those little, they're like sandals, but they don't actually have, they're like barefoot sandals. So you, you do like a crochet, like triangle, and then you do like a chain, like a, like a chain, and then you tie this around the back of your ankle. And then this one goes around your toe. You do a loop here and that goes around your toe. And then this just ties up around your ankle. It looks kind of cool in the summer, you know, anyway, a little hippie chick kind of thing. Um, so I love this kind of stuff. So I, I really want to make, um, a big blanket and take a whole bunch of different motifs. Cause I don't think I would want to crochet like 300 of the same motif, but I do like to crochet motifs. And so I just do them like I'll do like two or three in different colors. And then I just put them all in a big basket. And one of these days I want to take them all and applique them onto some kind of a quilt or something. And then um, I got this book because this is ways that you can connect the motifs together. Okay. So she gives you all these different ways to connect like, more motifs too. There's like another 130 motifs in this book, but she also gives you creative ways to connect them and um, like smaller little motifs that you can use as connectors to, to connect together the bigger ones. And then also um, ways that you can uh, kind of join as you go, like is what they call it, Jago. So, <clears throat> so you can, now oh, it's hard to explain, but so you can make one and then the next one that you make is actually connected to the first one already. So you don't have to go back and connect them all together. It's like you just continue. Um, anyway, I don't know if that makes sense, but I just wanted to show you this Edie Ekman. Um, her books are amazing. I love them. And then this one is all borders. So if you do like an Afghan or, you know, even if you just do a simple, you know, double crochet Afghan in a solid color, um, adding a border to it is, is really cool. Like it's a way to just kind of jazz it up and, and make the, and just make it a little bit more extra special. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, so her patterns are just awesome. Um, so those, and then one more book that is, this is one of the first just kind of general crochet books that I ever bought. And, um, it's the encyclopedia of crochet. And I just, I liked it because it just had stitch patterns. So if you just want to do an afghan or you just want to make a simple blanket or something it just gives you all these different stitches okay and there again it gives you a diagram and then it tells you the written out instructions so yeah and tons of them i really want to try doing some tunisian crochet one of these days um i just think it looks it looks like fun there's some motifs in this book too but um, anyway, so this is a really good book and it has some cool projects too. So, and lots and lots of instructions. So even if you don't know how to crochet, this book has really good diagrams. See how well drawn those are um, to teach you how to crochet left-handed or right-handed, which I think is awesome. So anyway, okay, crocheting. <laughs> so that's that. Oh, and then... The only, the other thing that I've been crocheting is I, I also love felting. And so I wanted to make some felted slippers for my grandkids for Christmas and also maybe for myself and my mom and whoever. Anyway, so I've been also making felted slippers. So 
this slipper, um, this is another pair that I made. They look kind of funky because they're still kind of wet and they get kind of misshapen. Um, you put them in the washing machine to felt. Um, that's why they look kind of like crickety and stuff. It's best to let them dry on somebody's feet. But um, this is another pattern. I bought this pattern actually off from an Etsy store, um, Etsy shop. And I think I over felted them, but um, I was going to say this, this uh, slipper was actually about this long before it got felted. So that's how much it shrinks. Anyway, so if you have, there's lots and lots of YouTube channels about felting um, and crocheting and all that stuff. But um, anyway, I just wanted to show you guys kind of what I've been up to. So, you know, sometimes you just got to do something else. You know what I mean? Anyway, so let's look at the Frenchy French stuff from Forever French. Because I'm, this is inspiring. And, well, these were inspiring too. So all this stuff is inspiring. Um, but let me show you what I got. And she put in extras. She added in extras for me, too, and I honestly, like, I can't remember. I don't really know. Well, some of it I know is stuff that I didn't, I didn't purchase, but, <clears throat> and that she added in. But then there's other stuff that I can't remember. Anyway, so this was all, this little bundle was in, not this, but... Yeah, I think this was the freebie stuff that she sent me. There might be more in there. I don't remember. Anyway, so just a bunch of um, little French stuff, right? Okay, hold on. Does this come out of here? What is this? I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a box. Okay, it doesn't come out. It's actually a box. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Huh. And then you can fold this down. Probably have to... Oh, I see. You would go like that. And like that. And then you would fold this in. Oh, that's cool. Wow. <laughs> that's neat. Um, anyway, some French dictionary... And what was this? Oh, this was a, this was like a, yeah, a botanical book. <gasps> this is cool. Look at that. Yeah, this was, this was stuff that she added in for me. Oh my God. Look at those little diagrams. So pretty. I love this stuff. So I wanted more like little stuff, like little bits, you know, cause I've purchased a lot of, um, like ledgers and things like that. So I have lots of big ledger books and stuff that I've, that I've, um, that I've bought from her, but I wanted things that have like little tiny, like, like little numbers and stamps and just little bits to use for collage and stuff. And, um, yeah, so that's kind of what, what I was looking for in different colors, handwriting, um, stamp things, things that are typed. This is cool. So you like just to have these little pieces of little documents and stuff. This was a check, I think. Yeah. So... And it's sometimes hard because there's always cool stuff on the back. Anyway, so this was a this was part of my uh, little gift from Louise. Thank you, Louise. I think there's other stuff in here that she added in. And honestly, I'm sorry, Louise. I just can't remember what I what I ordered and what I didn't. <laughs> but I love all of it, and it just makes it even more fun to go through. Um, so this was, this was a listing in her shop 
just a little note notepad uh, pages from a little notepad um and i wish you know obviously i don't read french so i don't know but these are all like uh receipts little receipts 1933 i love this green it's really pretty it's actually green probably can't tell but oh look at that so this is the kind of stuff that like this is this would be neat to scan you know lots of it will be cool to scan uh i still haven't been able to get my printers back onto my network i don't know what happened but both my printers went like dropped off my network and i can't get either one of them back on there so i don't know i'm not sure who to call if i should call the internet comcast or if i should call the printer manufacturer i just don't know okay so that's going to go in that pile um ooh, what else okay so oh this i think is a little i think this was a cadeau or gift or whatever um i think or this might have been i think i think she was out of something that i had ordered two of and then this was the replacement i believe look at these little shell station um little bags those are so cute i think those would be great just to paper clip into a journal and that's cool. I love that there's, you know, there's more than one. So there's five of those. And then these little, little cards. <laughs> I always have to get out the uh, Google Translate and like, just to figure out what some of this stuff is. But, oh, 1969, that's the year I was born. Um... But yeah, so this stuff will be cool just to just to scan and print off just for ephemera, you know. I've been doing that a lot more lately. Um, yeah, super fun. Super cool. These are labels. Yeah, these are uh, labels for something. I know one of you guys will know what that says. <clears throat> and some more little like coin envelope type of. God, these are so cool. <laughs> They're so cool. I love the paper. Look at those. How many is that? One, two, three, four. There's six of those super cool oh and these are some more ration stamps love the ration stamps i love the colors i just i love to just add a couple of these into collages i just think they look so neat like um for doing this kind of stuff you know and just adding just these little bits you guys know you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, a little postcard, isn't that pretty? Oh, and then many things. Okay, so this was yeah, this was this was some of this was extra. Um, oh my gosh, there's all these little packs of little yummy things. Is this extra stuff? I don't think so. She couldn't have get, she couldn't have sent me that much extra stuff. It might be though. So Louise is having a sale in her shop. So Louise does live in France, um, but I think she told me before that she is actually from England or something. But her mom. Oh, wow. Look, her mom lives in the UK. And so since France is going into lockdown again, I hate that we call it lockdown. It should, we should give it a friendlier name. 
can you guys can anybody think of a better name for you know the the lockdown like i don't know it just has such a that has such a negative connotation to me but anyways um she wanted to to drive to the uk to be with her mom because her mom's like in her 80s and um she just wanted to be closer to her while having to be you know locked up <laughs> and so she packed up a bunch of her stuff like all like stock from her shop into her car and so she's got all of that stuff with her in the uk and and this is what louise is now doing for a living um because of the covid thing i i think she kind of got pushed out of her job so so this is what louise is now doing for a living and i just want to try to support her as much as i can um because you know this thing is like man it's like the whole world right um but anyway she just loves collecting these little all of this stuff and um but anyway, so she does have a shop or she does have a sale going now. And I think it's like 20% off her entire shop. And, um, well, <laughs> if it's not, I'm sorry, but I think, it, I think it's something like that. And I didn't look at it before I made this video. So whatever it is, I will tell you in the, um, in the description, but, um, Anyway, so, but she will still be able to fill orders from the UK. So I don't know what shipping is going to look like, um, but, but she's awesome. Like she's super fast at shipping. So, and she's got ways of shipping things from France to the United States that is not expensive. So she's, she's figured it out. Um, anyway, and what she told me was that she wants to try to, um, oh, look at these little cabinet cards she's trying to put together some bundles um of you know like little bundles that she wants to start adding to her to her etsy shop so that's really cool and i think that that will help make some of it more affordable to some people you know so like you don't have to buy like a whole ledger book like you could maybe buy uh, an assortment of stuff you know um and if you love french ephemera then um i think that'll be really cool so anyway i don't know if she has those right now i know she does have some like you know smaller items and stuff in her shop but um but just check it out she's got like 400 items in there so there's something for everybody. Um, look at all these little images, these little photos. Anyway, these are super cool. Look at the backs on these. I love those. Those are awesome. Those are awesome. Just to scan and print off for little add-ins to journals and stuff. Um, anyway, so hopefully, I hopefully, you know, if you would like to look at the writing if you would like to uh to look at her shop this would be a good time because of the sale and also uh it's a great time to support her because things are things are tough over there right now i mean things are tough here too for sure but france and the uk it's um not good look at this envelope i mean is that just delicious <laughs> it's so yummy look at that and somebody wrote all over the back of it ah oh, love it i love it such an such an interesting style you know just the the way things are formatted and things like that Somebody's bill. Wonder if it ever got paid. 1953. Uh, here's another one. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I want to try to recreate that. 
the color of that like glassine is really cool. I gotta, I gotta do that. I'm going to try to figure out how I can do that. You know how I was doing those, the window envelopes. Um, I want to do that <laughs> and like distress it like that too. The, see, it's inspiring. All this stuff is just inspiring. Um, oh, and then some of these, I have some of these from her already. Um, and I love them. They're these little like science like cards you know and a lot of them have these little diagrams and stuff on them like these these little diagrams i just love them these little drawings oh some old uh some old um index cards love the discoloration some more photos. She said she's really been um, been into collecting old photos lately. So that's really cool. I love old pictures. And I always just scan them. You know, I love to scan them and then use them for whatever, for all kinds of different things. Like these little twins. Or no, they're not twins. Maybe they are. Who knows? Anyway, some more bills, receipts, another, what's this? Oh, this envelope, is this the one? No, this one. I want to also try to recreate this, this envelope kind of thing, this little pocket thing, but I like this kind of swervy border on there. I think that's really cool. So I want to try to recreate that. Oh, look at, there's some negatives in here. So this, that must be what these are, negative sleeves. Uh-huh. Oh, there's that little kid. <clears throat> oh, and they were, this is probably like however many prints they wanted made from these negatives that's cool okay i'm going too slow oh this stuff is so yummy um some more new year's cards okay i think these are the ones that she was holding on to for me for quite a while this little tiny envelope oh my god it's so cute oh i love that that is gorgeous isn't it funny like whoever like wrote this like however many years ago i don't know 75 years ago do you think they would have ever thought that I would be like looking at it and talking about how beautiful it is? No, they they think we're crazy. <clears throat> anyway, ooh, that's pretty. This is pretty. That right there, it's pretty. <laughs> Christmassy. So I just love little envelopes for some reason. I don't know what it is. I love cute little, little pieces of ephemera. Lots of these little New Year's cards. Merry Christmas. This is gorgeous. Hold on. I got to see what this is. <laughs> Great. Now I can't get it back in there. There we go. Oh, these ones are all blank. Okay, that's right. I remember that there was a listing for some that were written on. Or maybe we just messaged about these. Maybe she didn't actually have these listed. Look at those. Aren't they super cute? 
Um, so pretty. Anyway, so those are all like Christmassy. I should put those with, where's the other ones? Where did I put the other ones? Hmm. Oh, well, can't find them. Um, okay, what else? There's <laughs> a bunch more stuff in here, you guys. Okay, so this, I believe this was, I don't know if this was a listing or not. But see what I'm talking about? Like, she has just, like, these little bundles of ephemera, you know? And doesn't cost much to ship this stuff, right? So, you know, if you're looking for, you know, e ephemera, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good way to kind of build up your stash, you know? Look at these receipts. Those are so cool. Uh -uh. 1923 what calendar is that no yeah, that's just I thought it was like folded it's not it's another one of those little cards I think this was this was a part of this was a freebie I think it was I don't remember buying this Thank you, Louise. You're so sweet. She's so sweet. Oh, I love that stamp. Like how it's stapled right there. It's just like weird, you know? I don't know. And then it's just like a little booklet, you know? Anyway. Ephemeral. Ephemeral stuff. Um, oh yeah, and then a whole bunch of these little guys. There's like a bunch of them. What is that? What is that? <laughs> I have to translate. Somebody tell me what that is. I recognize sucra, which is sugar. Um, maybe it's like jam. This is like a jam, like a jelly jam label or something like that. Maybe? Was I right? Um, and then all of these little photos, these were list. these were definitely a listing in her shop. I think it was 40 of them. Just all these random old black and white photos. I love that one. <laughs> and that one. They're just so cool. I love snapshots. That little girl. Even scenery, you know? A lot of people don't like the scenery pictures, you know? But back in the day, you know? I mean, it's like black and white images, too. And the, you're taking pictures of the, the rolling green hills, you know? But... Well, that's weird. You know what's funny? is I was looking at this and I thought I wanted to zoom it <laughs> so I could zoom in on it. But I can't. See, isn't that cool? I love these. Oh, and then there's a whole bunch that are all connected of this little little baby. She's pretty. So anyway, lots of pictures. Lots of pictures for scanning. Um, oh, and these bags. I love these bags. I want to try to figure out a way to make these into some journal covers maybe or something or just use them maybe in journals somehow. Um, I have some other bags that I got from Louise that I'd like to do something with too. They were like from a candy store or something like that. But um, yeah, so these are really cool. I know, I say everything is cool, but look at this, you guys. Oh my God, look. These are all letters. 
I messaged her and asked her, because see, that's the thing is you got to reach out to people sometimes, you know, you got if you're looking for something, just ask. So I reached out and I said, Hey, do you have any more old French letters? And she was like, Oh yeah. You know? Um, so here we go. Whole bunch of letters. Well, just most of these are like from the forties and fifties. So, oh my gosh, I just love them anyway. So, and most of them have, of course, letters inside. So, so these will be really fun to go through and, uh, too bad I can't read French. One of these days, maybe I'll learn how to read French. Um, but yeah, it's all this writing. It's just all this writing. You know, that's what I love about it. All the different type and text and handwriting, printing, whatever. So I don't even know how many there are here. But I've got old French letters for days. So this stuff will be really fun to go through. Like if they put a postcard in an airmail envelope. I love this blue color, this blue green color. And I love the weight of this paper. It's really thin. Just tons, tons and tons. I should count these. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how many there are, but that is so awesome. I love that color. So I have to think of some ways to use these letters and whatnot, you know, in, in projects. So again, if you have ideas about those, share with me, tell me what to do with this stuff. I love your guys' ideas. This is so cool. I love this paper. Look at the 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 print or the like grid. Pockets. I always think I want to make these into pockets in journals. That's what I always always want to do. <clears throat> anyway, so <laughs> Goo gobs of old French letters. It's a big fat stack of them. Um, and then, so people in Europe <clears throat> and abroad, <laughs> they always use these envelopes. And I always want some of these envelopes. So I asked her, if I send you some money, can you buy me some of those envelopes? And um, <laughs> so she just bought me some. So, and she she did actually send me a, the larger size too. There's a little bit bigger size. Um, so yeah, so she sent me a hundred of these envelopes. And they're super cool. They're just like uh, our version of Manila envelopes, you know. But they're thinner. They're like more lightweight. And they have this really cool, like, texture, you know. I just love paper, so. And then look at, they're self-sealing or whatever. So, anyway, so thank you, Louise. That was really cool that you bought those for me. Um, so I have lots of those. And what else? What else? I'm almost done, you guys. It's almost an hour. And then... I think she just tossed these in there too, these documents. And these are so cool, but it's hard for me to use them because I always don't want to cover up the back. You know what I mean? Like, um, so I always say, okay, well, I'll scan them and then, and then use them. <laughs> so that's what I usually do. But I love that, the handwriting. Look at the handwriting, you guys. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay. And then this, 
Um, this was a, she, I just saw this in her shop, uh, right? Like last week. And literally when she shipped this stuff to me, it only took like four days to get here. Three or three days, maybe. I think it was over a weekend. So it was like four days. But look at it, it's an atlas. It's like, well, it's a school geography book. So it's just got all these yummy maps. And remember the the window envelopes that I was making with the maps? So now I can make some more. And I can use these French maps. Look at them. And there's tons of them in here. And they're all different colors. You know, they're colorful. So I saw this in her shop and I was like, uh, yeah, <laughs> gotta have it. I haven't found the date on it yet. Wonder what the date is. You'd think I would just see the date. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Somebody tell me if that looks like the um the date. Somebody tell me if that's the um copyright date. I don't know. Why do I like all this French stuff and I can't even read any of it? Anyway, so that and then <clears throat> last thing um i bought some of these from her last year um so she knew that i really liked them but she happened to have another stash of skeleton keys so she reached out and asked if i wanted them i was like um yeah they were not super cheap though you guys i'm just saying they were not super cheap look at this one still on the ring these two don't they look like they were like like used in some kind of dungeon probably were so anyway so some <laughs> skeleton keys so i have some other ones too and i'm gonna probably pull out a lot of these smaller like i'll separate them by size kind of sort them out you know um hang on I have some more yeah so these are the other ones that that i bought from her before so i was really happy that she had some smaller ones too look at those so i'm just going to kind of clean these up a little bit these ones are more rough see these these ones are more they're a little different more like smoother these ones still have like rust like stuck on them so anyway <laughs> skeleton keys so now i get to figure out what i'm going to do with all these skeleton keys so i have to come up with something um, and one thing that I'm thinking about doing is putting together some little bundles. Um, I have these boxes. I bought some little miniature, um, spring form pans and it was like a set of four. Uh, they're like four inch spring form pans cause I love making cheesecake, but I want to make like a bunch of different flavored ones. So I wanted to have smaller spring form pans. <clears throat> so I could make like one big batch of cheesecake batter and then just flavor them. Anyway, um, so I bought these cheesecake spring form pans and it came, when they shipped it, it's like in a cardboard box and then each one is in its own little cardboard box. So I was like, Jesus, this is a lot of packaging. Anyway, so I saved the little boxes that the spring form pans came in individually. So what I think I'm going to do is just fill each of those boxes with, you know, stuff with little little doodads and, and things and um some french stuff and some little like miniature things that i have and uh and maybe offer those to you guys 
So, you know, some of this little stuff, some of the things that I've made and some ephemera type of things. I have some little miniature books and whatnot. So I've just been thinking about it and that's something I'd like to, I'd like to put together and some ephemera, you know, some, some like authentic ephemera. And, um, so I'll let you know if I'm going to do that and I will of course show them to you so you guys could, could grab one. Um, oh, there's also other cards. Okay. So anyway, this is my new yummy stuff from Louise and I'm super, super, super inspired now. And I think I'm ready to come out of my bedroom and, um, do some stuff. I do want to try to recreate that, that paper, you know, envelope thing that, that I showed you guys. Um, so I definitely want to do that. And then I want to do something with these letters and, you know, the snaps. Um, also, I've got, and I want to do some more collaging. But if you guys saw this, um, this quilt, I had cut this up and put pieces of it in my last bundles that I did, the monthly bundles. Uh, each person got a piece of this quilt. So, but I saved a piece for, for myself, about a quarter of the bedspread. And I want to make some journals out of this. So um, maybe I do need to do some monthly minis. So I thought maybe I could use this fabric to make my monthly minis out of. And I love the back. It's really cool. It's really pretty, like really uh, vintage -y, you know. I mean, it's old, but... <clears throat> So then I was like, oh, well, I also have this quilt. So this is all made out of neckties. So these are all silk neckties, this crazy quilt. So I thought maybe I could use some of this for um, some maybe bigger journals. I don't know. I, I don't know if I can bring myself to cut that one up. But this one was actually my mom's. This was on her on her bed and she was getting rid of it. So I was like, uh, yeah, I'll take it. So I don't think this came from India. Um, it's like a Cantha quilt, but it's, it's machine stitched. So it's not an authentic Cantha, but, um, but it, it looks like Cantha, you know what I mean? Um, like these are, this is a printed fabric. This is, these aren't separate pieces of fabric, but it's still pretty anyways. And, um, nice and worn, you know, so I thought this might be kind of cool to make some journal covers with also. Anyway, so that's what I've been up to, you guys, and um, yeah, so let me know. Oh, I forgot to show you, I told you I would show you the little, hold on, <laughs> the little baby booties. These are felted. I crocheted these and then, and then felted them, but they were too small for Francis. She's got, her feet were too long. Um, so these I am sending to Carla because she's having a new little, little grandson. So she, I'm going to send these to her, but aren't they cute? So I was thinking, um, I don't know. I was thinking about maybe even making up more of these and selling them. So I don't know if anybody is interested, maybe <laughs> um, send me an email and let me know if you'd like a little pair of uh, quilted warm baby booties. These take about an hour to crochet, <laughs> so it wouldn't be too incredibly expensive. But anyways, and I love making them. So and I so I told you I'd show you. So here we are. And thank you guys for hanging in there with me. I do love you. And thank you for all your emails and your concerns and your well wishes and uh, your loyalty. And thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed to my channel and who remains subscribed to my channel. I appreciate that more than you know. And um just wanted to let you guys know that if you've made it to the end of this video, um, that I think I'm going to, well, I appreciate it, but <clears throat> I think I'm going to do 
uh, something different with my channel in that I think I'm going to demonetize my channel so that there won't be any advertising. And um, I think instead what I'll do is I'll just put a little link in the description. And if anybody would like to support me um, in any way financially, <laughs> then um, you can just do that directly to me. And I have a really hard time even like saying that, but um, I, to be honest, like the money that I earn from YouTube advertising is not worth the aggravation that you guys go through seeing advertising in my videos. And so as a reward, I will demonetize my channel because it's just not worth the aggravation to you guys what it how it, how it benefits me you know what i mean i mean if i had like 10 million subscribers or something and i was making like goo gobs of money off of you know advertising on my channel then i probably wouldn't do that but you know what i'm saying like it's just not worth it you know it, it i would rather you guys be able to watch the video or just listen to the video without having advertisements um interrupting it and it's annoying so um so i'm gonna start doing that i'm gonna add a little link i'll add a link in the description so if anybody feels so inclined and they want to support me no pressure seriously like none whatsoever um if you want to um you can send me a donation on you know on paypal so um but anyway so here we are <laughs> okay i got it out and um anyway i love you guys and I will be back sooner than later. I think I'll do the show and sell video tomorrow. Okay. So hope you liked all those goodies. It was really fun showing it all to you guys. And um, yeah, so I'll see you soon. Okay. Bye for now.